Do you know that jaundice is not a disease? Jaundice is a symptom and not a disease in itself. My name is Dr. Anand Ramurthy and I'm head of uh, surgical gastroenterology liver transplantation at Apollo Hospital, Hyderabad. I'm Dr. Jatin Egurla, consultant gastroenterologist, hepatologist and advanced therapeutic endoscopist at Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. Today we'll be discussing about uh, jaundice, its causes, its management. So let us start with the medical causes of jaundice. A jaundice is basically a yellowish discoloration of your eyes, mucous membranes or urine. Uh, it's because of a pigment called as a bilirubin that is a breakdown product of RBCs or the blood cells. So jaundice can be because of multiple reasons once we are able to pinpoint the cause. Let's say for example the patient has acute viral hepatitis either due to hepatitis A or E. The treatment is mostly supportive but there is a risk that uh, some of these patients can develop acute liver failure which is associated with very high mortality. There is a risk of uh, death if we are not able to provide transplant in time. So the important warning symptoms while you are at home uh, recovering from acute viral hepatitis is you have to look for any forgetfulness and alternation in the consciousness. If there is any altered uh, consciousness or if there are any bluish spots in the body then uh, I think you have to seek medical care and undergo investigations. Second, if the patient has any chronic hepatitis, let's say hepatitis B, so we will subject them to further investigations like hepatitis B DNA, E antigen status and fibro scan and according to the stage of the disease, we will advise them the treatment. Mostly they will require a single antiviral medication, oral drug and uh, that would be uh, needed to be taken almost lifelong. And if let's say uh, we find that there is hepatitis C and we found that the hepatitis C RNA is elevated, then we'll give a three months or a six months course of antivirals depending on whether there is cirrhosis or not. And uh, if the RNA is not detected, then there is no need to give any antivirals. It's like an antibody. So many patients ask us that anti-HCV is positive but you're not providing us any treatment. So if the RNA is not there, that means the body has taken care of the virus itself and we don't need to give you a treatment. So that will persist uh, for your life. It's like a protective antibody. If it is alcoholic liver disease, alcohol abstinence is the only treatment. So all other therapies that we're going to do is only to support you or just to prevent the complications. So strict alcohol abstinence, is the only treatment for alcoholic liver disease. If you have fatty liver disease, then uh, the best drug that you can give for fatty liver is weight loss. So to achieve weight loss, you have to have a rigorous diet plan, daily intensive exercise, and uh, you have you will have based on your BMI and your weight loss targets, you will be given the charts and the uh, regimen, and you have to strictly follow that and achieve weight loss. There are some um, subsets of patients with fatty liver who would benefit from uh, medications and uh, we would give you medications for that. And if it is a uh, drug induced liver injury, then you have to stop taking the medication. The most common drugs that cause jaundice are anti-tubercular therapy in India. And also uh, most important is uh, uh, complementary and alternative medications. This is a big problem in India where, you know, access to healthcare is not there at the grassroots level and they keep taking the Ayurvedic and homeopathic medications and uh, uh, not knowing the other side of the story. Let's ask sir, what are the surgical causes of jaundice? Well, surgical causes of jaundice usually involve a mechanical obstruction. The mechanical obstruction may be either due to a stone which occupies the bile duct. Now the stone is usually formed in the gallbladder and then it slips down the bile duct to uh, come to the lower part of the bile duct where it causes an obstruction to the flow of bile and this results in jaundice. The other cause may be that there is a malignancy or a tumour that develops in the bile duct, gallbladder or the pancreas which results in blockage of the lumen or the channel of the bile duct resulting in obstruction to the flow of bile and again causing jaundice. Now, these were the common causes that you heard of. When a patient comes with jaundice, how do we go about uh, assessing the cause of jaundice in these patients? Uh, when somebody comes uh, to us with jaundice, the first thing is to take a detailed history and physical examination because we get to uh, understand the quantity of uh, uh, alcohol consumption and the duration which is very important. 
what are the drugs that he is already taking, what are the pre-existing medical conditions. In addition to all this uh, history, we do a detailed physical examination uh, to see if there is any uh, abnormal findings uh, on the abdominal examination. So, after that we proceed with simple investigations like a liver function test where we get to know the bilirubin levels and liver enzymes. In addition to these, ultrasound abdomen is uh, done to look at the liver condition whether there is any uh, liver disease or biliary obstruction. So, after understanding what is the cause of the jaundice whether it is because of the liver disease itself or biliary obstruction or due to hemolytic condition we proceed with further investigations. For example, there is a biliary obstruction in ultrasound. So, how would you like to proceed? The first clue we get about obstructive jaundice is from the history. So, patients will characteristically report a dark colored urine, dark yellow. It may even be orange red at times. Sometimes if there is complete obstruction to the flow of bile, patients might report white colored stools. And this may be accompanied by itching all over the body. This itching can even become troublesome and may disturb sleep. So, when patients present with these symptoms, then we know that it is most likely obstructive jaundice. Once we get a report on a screening ultrasound, ultrasound is a screening modality. So, once we get this preliminary report, then we have to characterize the nature of the obstruction, whether it is a stone or it is a tumor. So, if it is a stone disease, the preference would be to do an MRCP. If it is because of tumor, then the preference would be to do a contrast in a CT scan. So, the selection of the investigation would depend upon the cause. So, how would you move forward in a patient where you have a medical, medical. cause of jaundice suspected? Yes. So, uh, as uh, Dr. Anand has discussed the surgical causes, that means there is an obstruction. Let's say in ultrasound there is no obstruction, but the patient has jaundice. So, we initially order uh, viral markers. If the duration of symptoms is short, we would uh, ask for hepatitis A or hepatitis E. If it is a prolonged duration or if we think that there is chronic hepatitis, we would ask for hepatitis B or C. And if these are, these are the first line uh, investigations that we ask and if these are negative and we think that the patient has an underlying liver disease, we proceed to second line investigations which would include uh, some of the blood investigations for autoimmune liver disease or Wilson's disease. So, these are some of the uncommon causes. Another common uh, cause for liver disease is fatty liver. So, we uh, do check for metabolic syndrome. We look at the risk factors like obesity, diabetes, dyslipidemia and we also ask for fibro scan which tells us the actual amount of fat deposited in the liver and also if there is any uh, permanent damage that is the fibrosis uh, that has already happened in the liver. So, this investigations will help us in pinpointing the cause of medical jaundice and subsequently to take action. In case you notice that uh, you or some of your relatives are uh, noticing yellowish discoloration of eyes or if the bilirubin level is elevated then do not wait. Do consult a liver specialist especially in an organization like ours where we have all the diagnostic and therapeutic facilities including experts from different uh, specialities to provide a holistic and comprehensive care to you. Stay tuned because we will get back to you with many such topics in the coming near future. Thank you. Thank you.